All right, good people, this is a spaghetti squash cut in half. Grab you a spoon and just get all that stuff up out of there, all the seeds and everything. Grab you some olive oil and just lather it down. Add some salt to both of them jumps. Add a little bit of pepper. Now you're gonna flip both of these spaghetti squashes over throw them bad boys in the oven and let them cook for about 43 minutes all right now while the spaghetti squash is cooking grab you some shrimp go ahead and pat that mug down till it's nice and dry add you a little bit of salt add you a little bit of pepper grab you a pan get about four tablespoons of that good old butter melt it in the skillet and then add that good old shrimp so now cook it for about two minutes on each side maybe Now you're going to transfer the shrimp into the bowl. So now you're going to turn the heat back on. If indeed you have turned the heat off, add you one tablespoon of butter. And when the butter has melted, add the garlic, add the red pepper flakes, and then cook for about 30 seconds. Add your lemon juice and then add your wine. I preferably think Chardonnay goes well with this recipe. Increase the heat to high and I'm going to need for you to stir it until it is thickened or let's say about a minute. Remove the skillet from the heat, add three more tablespoons of butter, add the parsley, and stir it for about a minute or so. If indeed it has been 45 minutes, take the spaghetti squash out of the oven. And this is where it turns stupid. So I grabbed this one and it was hot, right? So I put it back down. I grabbed the other one and I don't know why I thought this one was cooler. And I started scraping. Next thing you know, I had to put it down because it was just too hot. <sighs> so when the spaghetti squash is cool, go ahead and take your fork and just start scraping the inside. And you'll notice that the inside will turn into these little uh, spaghetti strands. Once you successfully scooped out all your spaghetti strands, go ahead and add the shrimp. And then remember that sauce you made? Yeah, go ahead and add that too. And just stir it up. You may have to get another bowl depending upon how big your bowl is, like I did. After that, transfer the mixture back into the spaghetti squash, please. Add you some parsley on there. And also, if you have Parmesan cheese, add that on there as well. It will go great with this recipe ladies and gentlemen that's it thank you for tuning in for another episode of teaching myself how to cook do not sleep on the presentation of this video i'm telling you right now this recipe came out really good don't forget to like share subscribe love y'all see you later